Well, I'm, I'm really pleased about getting the win tonight. Um, you know, obviously, everybody in the country is playing a lot of games right now. So these are quick turnarounds. There's minimal preparation for everybody. And uh, the team you play tonight is a, a team we knew. You know, they're one of the nation's leaders in, in slowest tempo, you know, or however you want to term that analytically. You know, they make you play uh, a lot of defense. They run their stuff. They make you play deep into the clock. And it's one of those games where you got to just grind out the game. And I thought we did a great job. You know, we were able to get a sizable lead. We got off to a great start. We turned it over early, which was, uh, you know, some careless things early. I thought we settled in and started the second half, got the 18-point lead, and then, um, you know, started fouling and got them to the line. We lost a sh couple shooters, and they were able to hang around, give them credit. But um, I was really pleased with our free throw shooting. You know, last game we missed 13 free throws. Tonight we go 23 for 24 and was really pleased with, you know, Scotty Lindsay, six assists, no turnovers. You know, for him, they're trapping, you know, they're trapping BMAC all over the floor, which teams try to do. And they're making him give the ball up. And that's where you need Scott and Vic and Derek and Gavin to be playmakers. And, you know, Scotty was able to do that tonight with, uh, with six assists. So I'm happy to be 2-0, and happy with the win. Obviously, another very quick turnaround and sets up for a real high-level game on Wednesday night. Have an amazing amount of respect for Creighton, Coach McDermott. They're not just a good team. They're a really good program, and uh, they play fast-paced fast, ba fast -paced basketball. They try to put a lot of points on the board, and um, you know, it's going to be a real tough challenge for us on Wednesday night. So the floor is now open. Gavin was really productive tonight. He was. He was leading going into halftime and still was one of the top scorers yeah. at the end of the game. Can you just talk a little bit about that? Yeah, you know, I thought in the first game, guy, and a bunch of you guys were here, his foul trouble really hurt us in the first game. Um, you know, not having Aaron right now, you know, it, it puts more pressure on Gavin to be out on that floor, you know, and, and the way we're putting this thing together, Aaron and Gavin kind of, you know, we're splitting that spot and, you know, it's two kind of totally different types of players and we'll have Aaron back soon. But while he's out, uh, it puts a little bit more on Gavin's plate. I thought he was active tonight. Um, I thought he made some great plays. I thought he was aggressive. You know, I thought his three to start the second half was a big shot in the arm for us and uh, just really pleased. I mean, 14 points and six uh, rebounds. Um, I'll take that every night from uh, from Gav. That'd be that'd be pretty good uh, production for me. But I just like the way he played. I thought he was active. He was on the glass, and um, thought he had a real good game for us. Uh, completely new setting this year, new arena, obviously a new team like every year. Do you feel like the guys are sort of settling in uh, to the rotation and to the to all state arena a little bit? Yeah, I think so. And I know you guys. I've been asked that every game, and. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure it'll be a common theme, but uh, it's it is. I mean, yeah, we've been we've played an inter squad game here. We, we've now played two regular season games. We're we're comfortable with our routine, um, you know. And we just this is where we play this year. We don't we don't even talk about it. It's it's not even an issue. Would we like to play in Welsh Shrine? Absolutely, but uh, you know the 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 way it is this year. This is our home. Um, I'm hoping Wednesday night um, we can get a good turnout. Um, got a great team coming in here in Creighton, and hopefully we can get some seats and uh, people in the seats and, and make it a really good atmosphere for a high-level game on Wednesday. And what did you see uh, in terms of last Friday's game where it came down to the wire? What kind of progression did you see in the team to end it tonight? I thought offensively we were better tonight down the stretch. You know, we took care of the ball. We made some big shots. We made all our free throws. Um, you know, again, for me um, – you know, we've had two games in a row now where we've given up in the 20s in the first half defensively and then in the 40s in the second half. And, you know, part of that is me, you know, managing some rests. I think, you know, you get a little winded. Uh, but I also think, you know, in the first half, your defense is, is in front of the coaches. And the coaches are able to communicate and help guys through actions and screens. And when you get down in the second half for both teams, it, it requires the players to do all that talking. And, and I think that's where we need to improve. Our, our communication on that end of the floor. Um, the effort is there. You know, I, I thought um, there were a lot of positive things tonight. I thought we played better tonight. I really did. I thought overall it was a better performance. Uh, give St. Peter's credit, you know, for, for making a push there, making some buckets late and, and making us have to finish the game. But I, I thought we played better tonight than we did on Friday. The starters plus the 
plus minuses were all double digits positive, but mm -hmm. the bench, all the bench players had uh, double digits in the negatives. Obviously, Aaron being out throws that off a little bit, but how can you get yeah. more of a scoring punch from the bench? Yeah, no, I mean we we we've talked about that, and and I've talked about them with them with those guys. You know, I want them. I want them to be confident. I want them to come in and, you know, feel like our level of play can stay the same. And I thought in the second half, I thought Gaines and, and uh, Ash were more aggressive. You know, I thought they didn't play on their heels. Anthony made a couple ni um, nice moves, hit a three. I thought Jordan, even though he missed a couple shots, I thought he, he played with some energy. I thought he played confidently. Um, you know, for Barrett, it was a tough game for Barrett because they're playing a big guy who's shooting threes and all, you know, some of these teams that play five guards or big guys that are out on the floor, it's hard, you know, to get a more of a low traditional low post guy in there. So, you know, Barrett's going to be going to be needed more Wednesday night. He'll have more opportunity. We need to get Isaiah going. You know, Isaiah missed three and a half weeks with an injury in training camp and is kind of just getting his timing and his rhythm back. And, and we know what he can do, you know, once he once he gets going. So there's no question. We got to get better production out of the bench, and and we as coaches, and I got to do a better job getting lineups out there that can be effective when we're resting our starters. Hey Chris, I think I, I got a couple for you. Uh, first of all, with Falzon, what does he have to show to be able to get back on the floor, and how quickly? Yeah, I mean he's he's just dealing with a hip flexor, you know. So you guys know what that is. I mean, it's just uh, you know can be a painful injury, you know. Just uh, he's doing he's working out, he's doing some stuff. You know, the problem is when you're playing all these games in a short amount of time, you know, there's not a whole lot of practice. And, and it's such a long year. Like, I don't want to overreact. This is, you're talking about a young guy who missed the whole season last year with a knee. So um, as much as I want him out there, as much as we, we miss his production and his shooting and all that stuff, we do have to be smart and understand that this is, this is a long season. And if it airs on a couple more days here on the front end, you know, to, to make sure that he's healthy in the long haul, that's what we're going to do. Was it less than ideal tonight that your starters were still on the floor with inside a minute? Yeah, I mean, but you got to win the games, you know. So, I mean, that's, um, you know, obviously every game you'd love to, you'd love to have the subs in the last couple minutes and, and, and wave the victory towel and all that kind of stuff. But you forget these teams you're playing are, are pretty good. You know, they, they're, they're smart, they're tough, they, they put pressure on you. And um, you guys see with those guys, they could shoot. You know, they hit 10 threes. So all of a sudden you, you give up two or three threes in 30 seconds, the, the lead goes away. So, you know, we, we had to finish the game tonight. And, you know, we'll get some rest. We'll get back home. We'll get some rest tomorrow. And um, our guys will be ready to go Wednesday night. And speaking of Wednesday, uh, what do you need to see from your team, you think, to, I mean, beat Creighton? Yeah, I mean, we got to put, you know, got to put 40 minutes together. And, you know, we're going to have to be really locked in defensively. Um, I haven't studied them a lot. You know, I'm, as you guys know, I'm a big believer in the basketball gods. And uh, when you start looking ahead, um, the gods tend to punish you. So I, uh, I've been all about St. Peter's uh, until now. Uh, once I leave this room, I'm, I'm going to have my uh, trusty laptop dialed up with some Creighton film, and um, I'll be able to know more about them um, by the end of, of this night into early tomorrow. So I know they're a really good team. I know they have two really good wings in Kyrie Thomas and Marcus Foster. I know they push the ball. I know they score a lot of points and like, uh, like to play fast. So uh, we'll study these guys over the next 24 hours and, and try to put a game plan together that gives us a chance to be competitive. One thing you talked a lot about in the preseason was your ability to be versatile with your lineups, and we saw that tonight with you going a little bit smaller at times. Yeah. What do you think worked with that? Were you happy with it? Do you think you'll be Yeah, I mean, just a lot of it depends on who you're playing. You know, I mean, in this game, you saw, I mean, they were playing five guards a lot or four guards, and, you know, their center, Adowu, who was out on the floor shooting threes and making plays, and so – we had to kind of match up smaller because it allowed us to switch a lot of stuff and kind of keep them in front of us and try to get a hand up on shooters and, and things like that. So a lot of it is dictated by who you're playing, you know, and, and kind of what, what the game entails. And, you know, again, with us being down a guy on our front line, we are going to play some smaller lineups because, you know, we that's what our bench entails. You look at the four guys off the bench that played, three of them are perimeter guys, you know, in one post. So we are going to be playing. But that being said – you know, Gaines' is strength and, and, and Law and, and Lindsey, those guys are big wings. So they have the ability to guard, you know, multiple types of guys, and that's what we're going to need.
Hey, Coach, you had uh, 17 turnovers tonight. Yeah. How much does that bother you this early a lot, in the season? A lot. You know, that's two games in a row. You know, for we really pride ourselves on taking care of the ball. You know, and, you know, I think if you've looked at us over the past couple years, our assisted turnover ratio has been one of the better ones out there. And, you know, we've had two games now where we've been in the negative turnovers to assists. And that's not a good recipe for us because we're a good team and we can be a very good team, but we don't necessarily have the kind of firepower to withstand 17 to 20 turnovers. And, you know, it's something that we're going to have to really clean up as, as we move forward. All right, guys, thanks for coming out.